Oh, all of our nurses that are on the front lines are our heroes right now. And you're going through something very difficult and we thank you. And the best way that we can thank them is wearing your mask. So please just, just put it on. So this morning we're starting off with a lot of cloud covers and look towards downtown from Coronado and a storm system to the north of us is bringing a little light rain to Southern California. Not a whole lot, but hey, at this point we'll take whatever we can get. As I loop our pinpoint Doppler live, you can see some of that drizzle, maybe a little bit of mist starting to move into that Point Loma area, also in Camp Pendleton. And as I put on our five radar uh, loops, you can actually see that that rain is coming in there. So it's very, very light, not expecting a whole lot of accumulation, maybe a few hundredths of an inch here or there. And that chance will keep around through about 9 a.m. This is 7.30 this morning. You can see a few blips of green here or there on our 10 News Futurecast. And then after about 9 or 10 o'clock, we'll lose that chance for any rain. And then this afternoon will be mostly to partly cloudy. We'll warm up slightly tomorrow and then on Wednesday, and then a second storm system up to the north and west of us is going to be moving in. We'll also see some gusty winds target the mountain and desert areas today. Westerly winds of 30 to up to 40 miles per hour will be possible. And king tides impacting the coastline. High tide today at 8 a.m., high tide tomorrow at 8.40 in the morning. We could see coastal flooding of low-lying areas during the, those times, about an hour around high tide today and tomorrow. Temperatures in the inland neighborhood, 60s today and tomorrow, 70s on Sunday, back into the 60s Thursday and Friday as that second storm comes on in, and then we're warmer and sunnier but over the weekend. The mountain areas will be in the 40s today and tomorrow, then again on Thursday. Otherwise, we're in the 50s, and the desert areas will be in the 60s most of this week.